It's finally happening! You somehow convinced a girl to come over your place. But if you want to go from lotion and wanking to choking and spanking, you're gonna have to prepare. So here are seven tips to prepare for- Number one, clean! Clean everything! Your balls, your sheets, your balls again! You need to make sure everything is smelling and looking fresh, especially your bathroom. Guys' bathrooms are naturally filthy, and it's not our fault. Dirt is like infrared light, where we just can't see it. Don't believe me? Go to your bathroom right now and look around the toilet. Yeah. Repulsive, right? You didn't even know that shit was there until someone pointed it out. But you know who will notice? Any girl. So make sure your bathroom, along with the rest of your place, is spotless, or your mirror will be the only thing you're smashing. Number two, fun activity. You need to prepare a fun activity you both can do. And no, I don't mean Disney Plus and Thrust. Thinking with your dick is why it's been three years since your last lay. I mean plan something fun to do, like cook a meal together or challenge her to Mario Kart. Get her used to playing with your joystick before you rev her engine. Also, make whatever you do a competition. Having stakes will raise the excitement and make the journey to the massage table even easier. Easier. Number three, nice outfit. A nice outfit can trick a woman into thinking you're more attractive than you really are. That's why women love a guy in a suit, because it gives the impression you're a successful businessman instead of a struggling adult who can't do his own taxes. And just because you're staying in doesn't mean you shouldn't dress nice, so put on a nice button-up, freshly ironed pants, and a belt she can take off with one hand. Just remember, nothing will make a drier than cargo pants with some Crocs. Number four, food and drinks. Certain food and drinks can help enhance the mood. Let's start with the most important one, wine. Wine is like Viagra for women. It'll impact her decision-making just enough to make her forget that you're a manager at Bed Bath & Beyond. Besides, you're gonna need some chemicals stirring around her brain if you hope to smash in her Lightning McQueen bed. Next, you're gonna want to pick up some food. Food is the quickest way to a girl's heart. She could catch you texting your side piece, but wait, are those cheesy fries? Oh, they look so good, don't they? Don't worry about that, don't worry about that. Just keep eating, keep eating. Number five, environment and ambiance. Take a look around your place. Anything that screams forever virgin, hide in a closet. So all your Star Wars posters, Funko Pops, and especially your Nizuko body pillow. Next, you're gonna want to ask your roommate or family for some privacy. I remember the first time I invited over a girl, my brother's like, hmm, now's a good time to do laundry. Like, bitch, this isn't WWE. I'm not gonna tag you in for some two-on-one action. Leave. Next, you're gonna want to set the mood. Light some scented candles, turn down the thermostat, and play some music low enough where you can hear her talk, but loud enough where you can drown out the sound of your roommate fapping. Number six, groom. We all know men are disgusting. If it wasn't for the prospect of getting laid, we would just live in our own filth. So now is a great time to make yourself look presentable. To make it easier, I separate into three categories. Shave, trim, touch. You're gonna want to shave your balls, your back, and that Anthony Davis eyebrow. You're gonna want to trim your nose hairs, beard, and those Wolverine claws. And you're gonna want a touch of deodorant and cologne. Just make sure not to OD in the cologne. All you need is a drop in your wrist, your neck, and right above your Johnson. Number seven, equipment. Make sure you're stocked up on condoms, lube, tissues, anal beads, anything you might need in case things work out. Sure. You may not use them, but has that saying go? I'd rather have butt plugs and not use them than need them and not have them. Eh, something like that. Point is, make sure you're prepared with all the tools necessary to make your night a magical one. Number eight, lying. Lying is the most important part of getting laid. Women don't want honesty. They want plausible deniability in case it doesn't go well. What? I thought we were just playing Mario Kart. Okay, I guess we're kissing. <laughs> Remember, women don't want to pork you. They want to pork the person they think you are. And they think you're a clean, charming fella with no ulterior motives. Women even lie to themselves. Like, bitch, you shaved your cooter and didn't think things were going to escalate? Really? So those are all my tips on how to prepare for If you found any of these useful, then be a homie and share it with some friends. Because no guy wants to go from cream pies to no replies, from sloppy head to left unread, from swallow to no follow, from licking your balls to no new calls, from hitting the back to never coming back, from making it squirt to leaving you hurt, from being humped to getting dumped, from sitting on my face to saying I need space, from clapping cheeks to not hearing you in weeks, from thumb in the butt to I don't give a from licking your bean to leaving you unseen. From happy smiles to... Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Oh, and your hoodies. Hide your hoodies. Women love to steal hoodies. Mmm, you know what you want to do. Oh, you want to push that subscribe button. Oh, push the button. Push the button.